My name is Yomi Ademola. I'm the managing director of Alaro City in the Lekki Free Zone. Now, speaking about the Lekki Free Zone itself, I understand that it's a place where different businesses are actually springing up. Now, how exactly are you looking at selling those places, selling Alaro City as a community, not just a community, but also to people, especially in Lagos, where people are looking to just rent and leave. Loads of people are coming in, but also going out at the same time. How exactly are you looking to bring people into Alaro City and make it an actual community? So the Lekki Free Zone is the largest free zone in West Africa. Mm -hmm. It's 16,500 hectares in size. Mm -hmm. And it has been designed uh, very intelligently by the Lagos State Government to be complementary. So yeah. there are heavy industry areas, there are light industry areas, there are mixed use areas. So that uh, what happens is that all parts of the zone work together. Okay. So to date, we have uh, the Lagos Free Zone, the Lekki Free Zone. We have the seaport, Lekki Deep Seaport there. Mm -hmm. We have the Dangote Refinery, uh, the fertilizer plant by Dangote Group as well. Mm -hmm. We have a number of international companies, American, Chinese and other. Uh, and at Alaro City, which is the mixed use component of the Free Zone, we have a lot of light industry. So we have Boa Group, we have Aerial Foods, we have Mantra Caterpillar, and there is a wave of investment, employers bringing employment opportunities, and now people need a place to live. Uh, some may buy, some may rent. Yeah. Uh, subsequently, people need a place to recreate, people need a place for school, people need a place for their medical needs. Mm -hmm. So what Alaro City seeks to be is for that entire catchment, the entire Lekki Free Zone area, but also beyond the Free Zone. Okay. The one-stop shop for everybody to come, live, work, and play. Now, what we have observed, uh, by we I mean Rendeva, Lake, uh, Alaro City is a joint venture okay. between the Lagos State Government and Rendeva. Okay. Rendeva is the largest uh, private developer of cities and industrial parks and special economic zones uh, on the African continent. We have uh, about 30,000 acres of land in our portfolio, spanning seven cities in Kenya, Democratic Republic of Congo, Ghana, Zambia, and Nigeria. Our flagship for West Africa is Alaro City in the Lekki Free Zone. And so what we have seen is that with the uh, tax and duty incentives that attract business, and this is all business, majority of, of uh, business and majority of employment are SMEs. And so at Alaro City, we have created an SME enclave where we have specialized discounted tariffs and pricing to accommodate SMEs because this free zone regime that the government has provided should benefit all Nigerians, all Nigerian companies. And so uh, we have a number of SMEs, we have a number of multinational companies, mm -hmm. we have a number of uh, national conglomerates. Yeah. And so now that we have captured the productive industry at Alaro City, what we're looking to do is build a wider community that is centered around arts, culture, entertainment, so that people are happy to live there People have things to do and people are in a safe, well-organized environment. So we have sidewalks, we have cycling lanes, uh, we have uh, leisure centers. We have about 15% of Alara City is dedicated to parks and open areas. Okay. We have used the best planners in Nigeria and internationally to ensure that we have a coherent space where light industry, logistics and commercial land uses are complemented with uh, residential, hotel, a medical, education, and other mixed uses. All right, that is quite beautiful. Now, seeing as this country, we, we're we having tough times right now. We are in tough times. We're in economic hardship at this point in time. There's inflation. There is the price of things going high. There is fuel scarcity once in a while. You know, there are loads of things that add to this hardship. How exactly is Alara City making it better as well as still gaining in the market? How is it making it better for citizens and also making it making their profit at the same time? So I think at times like this, uh, business needs uh, an avenue to reduce costs and to find a way to maintain or increase profitability. That is how we uh, create sustainable growing concerns. Mm -hmm. And the free zone regime in Nigeria, which is one of the most established free zone regimes on the African continent, is well set up to achieve that. So um, by the uh, legal avoidance of duty on imports and of VAT on locally procured items that are assembled or produced in the free zone, companies can reduce 
their cost of production, their okay. cost of business. And in addition to that, because it is in a free zone, there is no corporate income tax on uh, the products, uh, the goods that are manufactured or assembled. Okay. And therefore, uh, business has an opportunity to share some of these savings and incentives with the market. And so there is a great opportunity to be close to the market, to reduce cost to customers while maintaining or increasing profitability. So we are big advocates for um, utilizing the free zone regime in Nigeria for advancing the government's foreign direct investment and industrialization agenda. And once we have these investments, this business, this trade coming through the seaport and the free zones, we must, like all other markets, find a way to accommodate the livability considerations so that investment comes and stays in Nigeria. All right. This is good for consumer. This is good for the economy. This is achieving government's objectives. Right, that's quite beautiful and very, very applaudable. And before we wrap up this interview, I'd like to know what are your thoughts on Business Day CEO Forum? And this is our 15th episode. What are your thoughts on it? So I'd like to commend um, the team led by the uh, MD at Business Day who hosted us here today. I was very interested to hear that this is the 15th uh, of, uh, of the series. Mm -hmm. I thought today went very well. It was uh, quite well organized, uh, very good attendance. Um, very high profile business and political leaders. It's a great forum for uh, exchanging ideas. Central bank governor was here. A number of uh, executive governors were here, or ably represented. And uh, the business community came out in large. Um, so it's clear that this is something of value. We need more of this. We need to exchange ideas and we need to implement some of the good outcomes uh, from these kind of forums. So I look forward to attending uh, one day in the future, perhaps, okay. if I'm invited. <laughs> not a problem, not a yeah. problem. And do you read Business Day's newspaper? Uh, yes, I read Business Day. Sometimes I see Alaro City in <laughs> Business Day. So definitely on those days, I, uh, I read it. Uh, okay. But yes, uh, Business Day is a, is a major publication in the country. And uh, we're very happy to uh, be here today at the CEO Forum. All right, thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much.